Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a dolman shirt for the summer. This dolman shirt is based off of a shirt that I already had. I, already, I just found the shirt off Depop and I really like the way it was made. So I'm just going to make another one for myself. The fabric that I'll be using is this polyester fabric print that I got from Joann's. So I'm putting a pattern sheet on the screen right now so you can see all my measurements and all of my um, specs and everything so it makes everything a little easier to, to work with. So I only had two body pieces, the front and back, um, the collar and two cuffs. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to interface the collar in the pocket. I do this before doing any sewing just because to make sure it's all stiff and I can make the sewing process a little faster for me.
Okay, and now to the sewing. So the first thing I did was serge off the placket edges. Now, I don't have a serger, but a zigzag stitch will work just fine for this. So I just zigzagged over the edge of the placket, and then I folded it over and sewed it down. Next thing I'm going to do is attach the shoulder seams, both by the front and the back. Now I'm going to do the collar edges. Now I'm attaching both of the collars right sides together and I'm just going, going to attach them across the edges and, not, and I'm going to keep the bottom open for later. Now I'm going to attach the collar to the shirt itself. Now the way I do this, I attach it by the, the interface side first and then once that's attached, I fold, it, I fold it over and attach the other side. I fold over the seam allowance on the other side so it can help it keep clean and keep everything on the inside and not to be seen. Um, there's no really like tips I can give for this. I think you just kind of have to like go with your measurements and just just hope you pin a lot. <laughs> just pin a lot. Just pin everywhere.
the cuffs. Now this part is actually pretty optional. You don't have to add cuffs to your shirt. Um, I decided to add shirt cuffs to mine because my shirt had them. So, but if you don't want to, you can just like sew a hem on the sleeves and call it a night. But I'm extra, so let's do it. So I attached the cu cuffs, both edges of the cuffs, right sides together. And I'm just gonna sew that down with a straight stitch. So then when I flip, flip it over and fold it down, it's going to be one continuous circle. Now I'm going to attach the cuff to the sleeve. Now for this step, I'm going to attach the cuff to the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm going to, and I can sew that and overlock that with a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. So that one, when I flip it outside, I can flip it over and press it down that way. Now also I say you should tack this part down because the collar, the cuffs can get a little flimsy. So like if you want to just tack it down with like maybe like a few hand stitches or whatever blind stitch, you can totally do that and that's perfectly fine. the buttons so these buttons I also got Joanne they're just little brown wooden buttons I got and I really like the color and I think it went really good with my shirt buttons and buttonholes. Now I didn't like to put my buttons on the right side because that's where all of my other shirts are. They're my using the buttons are on the right side. But um you can put them on either side if you want but mostly I think if you're a guy you probably want to put it on the right side because it's kind of difficult to like button it from the other way around. Like I find that really difficult to do. So whatever suits your fancy. Oh and also my buttons are about two to three inches apart. So once that's done, all we're going to do is add the hem and we're all done. 